quick little video for you here. Get my 2019 Can-Am Riker 900 Ace here. The haze blue. Okay, so since it's so new, I'm just trying everything we do to it. We want to make sure we document it, put it on YouTube. Just because it's so new, there's not very much information out there about it. So as you all may know, when you're sitting on it and you go to use your lever to put it in reverse, sometimes it can be very tricky if you're using your foot. Sometimes you have to reach down there and do it by hand. So what I've done, this would be a uh, shift lever for like a KLX 110, something like that. Uh, so this is a 11 millimeter inside here and this is a 30 uh 30 uh torque screw you're gonna undo that star bit right there pull this screw out screw about this long and then you're gonna slowly work this rubber off of here this rubber grommet it should just pull off uh you'll have to really twist i tore my hand up trying to get it off the first time okay and then this goes back over you'll see on a spot back behind here i'm not going to take it all apart i just wanted to show this off it's a very easy modification to do it's very easy to explain uh this shift lever, I'll leave a link in the description to go purchase it. I believe it's like 10 bucks. And uh, it's going to go over the wider part of the bar. So when you pull this off, this will be skinnier underneath. This goes over that wider part. And what I did is I took a Dremel and just Dremeled down some of the teeth on it. So it doesn't mar up the actual lever on the Riker. Okay, and then we slid it on there. We... Got it where we want. We pulled it all back apart, touched up the paint with some black spray paint. I uh, just used a brush, sprayed some spray paint in a little Dixie cup and used a little brush and touched up that black paint so you're not going to get any rust. It's nothing that you can even see. Okay, you're not going to see anything, but if water gets in there, you don't want it to rust. Okay, and then you get this over there and get it to where it's comfortable. Get it to where it feels like it works for you. So what you're doing is using your toe to pull back on this and then when you put it back in gear your foot sits right in between here you're going to use this one to push it back forward so pulling back pushing forward i'll show you that right now okay so as you can see where it's at right now right foot's all the way up it literally snaps right in and then I'm back and forward now I'm in reverse nice and easy really slick modification you just want to make sure when you do adjust it where you want it put it in reverse and adjust where it feels comfortable with your foot where your foot can sit and you don't want it to be up too high and hit this plastic when it comes up give yourself plenty of room this is also a foldable one so if you were to slide your foot across it as you're going down to this one, it's foldable. Okay, so there you go. That's how it rides. It is going to stick out just a little bit. And it's aluminum. I mean, you, you wouldn't want to bend it because it's aluminum. It would probably snap right in half. But you literally just kick that thing and it comes right back at you. Okay, it's a very slick little mod for 10 bucks. And you would never know if somebody's never seen a Riker before. I mean, you look at this thing while it's in reverse like that. You would never know if we put it back and forward. Nobody would ever know that that is something that's been added on. You just stick with that black aluminum. They do make a blue one that is the same color as that, but I didn't want it to stand out at all. I didn't want it to look like a modification. Okay, so there you go. Link in the description below the video literally pull this screw out twist this off slide this guy on there you can work it on and it will go on but the teeth are just a hair too tall so if you use a little burr bit on a dremel or something like that and grind the or some sandpaper in there sand these teeth down on the shift lever itself because you can open it up bigger but I had another, this is the second one, so the first one we opened it up bigger and it actually cracked. Because it's just aluminum. Okay, so you'd be better off to knock some of those teeth down and not worry about cracking it. 
And you just want to be careful not to get it too hot so you don't weaken that, soften up that aluminum. But there you go, very simple mod. Link in the description below the video. Uh, more videos to come, like I was saying. We're not done with the striker yet. As always, have a good day. I'm out. Peace.